Okay. Um, hello. Hello. Hi, guys. This is Clone Troop for Elite Gaming Studios, and this is a tutorial for how to use um, OBS to live stream games to Twitch TV. So, yeah. Okay, time to go and explore and go to the Open Broadcaster software website. Then you can click download here. Just go to download. Then you download it. And I'll download another one just for the heck of it. Bring you to this page. You just wait for it to download. And then, in a second now, it should like show, it, it should show it in the downloads. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm saving it since I, I already have a copy of it. And then you would run it in the downloads. And then, when you run it, and try to install it, it'll say you don't have X Direct, and then it will take you to uh, um, the Windows page, Microsoft Windows page, and then you click down, then you download that. Um, cause I already have it installed, I can't show you that. Um, and then after that's downloaded, then you, in, then you try to run OBS again and install that, and it'll install, and then after you have it all installed, you um yeah sorry guys the the mirror effect like this is it's kind of um I can't really avoid it since the window mode won't work in this and then you open it and you get this and now how to um capture a game I will show you you just um just do a game capture yeah and then you select what you want to um record like live stream or t to display on minecraft and what yeah there you go i just had to select that and just move it down move it to the bottom take monitor capture off there you go you have your game and it shows up and then you can do whatever you want off like on the screen and it won't display your screen it just displayed the game now if how you want to set up um that how you want to set up um what's it called how you want to set up your twitch count into your obs i can't do that um Okay, yeah, now, you see the settings, which you should right now, and you go to broadcast settings, and then you click to live stream, I don't file output right now, you would click live stream, and, um, then you would put, um, your stream key in, which you would, on your Twitch account, you would, uh, instead of going to your channel, you would click go to your dashboard, and then there's an the option on the dashboard, on top of the dashboard this is stream key and you click on that and then you copy and paste it into here and then you click apply and then you have to select twitch slash justin tv you click apply and then it sh and then it'll stream now if it'll tell you that it's not um that it's not set uh for streaming to twitch tv and then you will want to go to advanced no and then you want to go to advanced and um you want to make this too like it is now and you want to make this main you you got to make sure this main i don't have it set to where it's like really really perfect and it's like doesn't pixelate at all when you at all um you can there's settings to make it really good for recording but i don't know the settings i have to mess around with it more so yeah then you then you do that and then i'll show you how you sh sh change uh on twitch tv um basically uh, i'll show you how to change your name here and not uh the title then you just would click you would click edit on the twitch web page and then that would take you to edit that you edit your name then you edit the game you're playing and then you just update it and then you're ready to stream there is a way to um overlay the chat as like a see-through type of thing in your stream i don't know how to do that uh, and you don't really need to do that. I suggest using another computer or something to check your chat because it's really um inconvenient to exit to not exit minimize your game all the time and then just pull up the Internet Explorer to check your chat. It's really inconvenient to do that. But yeah, then you just update it and then you would 
just click on in here right here you click start well it's I'm streaming right now for recording so you click start streaming and then it would just put you uh, streaming and then if you have a webcam hooked up you would just do video capture device click OK and then you just click that and click OK but I don't want to do webcam when I'm recording so I'm not going to do that and then it should just pop up and then when you want to move objects you just want to make sure you have edit scenes on so see as I can move this all around just do that you can make it smaller if you want yeah you can change everything about it and then just as a general things you can add how to add images you just do add image and you browse and then you just browse your files like that there's my logo right there just cancel um cancel and if you want to add um text you would just do that and you click text right there text right there and you click ok now if you want to add a capture card um mine is not hooked up at the moment so i should have done that but um See, mine won't show up in OBS. It should. It used to, um, which is why it's really annoying. I'd have to use. I have to use XSplit with my capture card to stream that now. It should work. My Elgato should go show up in OBS, but it never does. It's weird. It's. Pff, it's actually probably because the update they just did on the Elgato. It would show up under video capture devices. It would show up right under my cap my uh, webcam. Like it should, but it doesn't anymore. I don't know if that's just my computer or if it's because of the update. I'd have to look that up. But it would show up like run under there, press OK, and it would capture your Xbox. That's what that would be in. And there's not really anything else. Monitor capture just captures your whole screen. And then Windows capture is if for some reason your game capture doesn't work. And you would just... It, it does the same thing as game capture pretty much. Uh, only it uses probably... I think it uses a different process to do it. But mine, my window capture won't work. So yeah, like, like I'll show you. It would you click that, um, that, and it just shows that. So yeah, mine does not work right at the moment. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will put the link to uh, the OBS website in the description below, and my Twitch TV channel, like I always put in the um description. I'll be uh. Yeah, so, yeah, and I will be streaming today on my uh, Minecraft server right after this, so, yeah, and also, um, well, actually, right after this, I'm gonna record a tutorial on how to use World Edit and to copy and paste in Minecraft World Edit objects, so, and then I'll stream after I'm done recording that, so, yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, so, yeah, bye guys, peace, hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time.